to the hottest show on radio. Welcome to the land where author Keith Childs and friends, where business and fashion meets entertainment. Each and every Thursday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Welcome. Come on. Welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Welcome to the lab. For business and fashion, meet entertainment. Welcome to the land. The hottest show on radio. Welcome to the land where author Keith Childs and friends. Come on. Welcome to the land. Welcome to the land. Tuned in to the hottest show on radio. Welcome to the land where all the cute child and friends. Welcome to the land where business and fashion meet entertainment. Welcome to the land. The hottest show on radio. Welcome to the lab presented by the Porter Firm, Champions for Justice. I'm your host, Arthur Keith Childs. Coming up today, guys, we got a really powerful packed show. Got me a wonderful guest on the show, guys. But first, we're going to have on the show, guys, if you know, my girl, yours truly, uh, Carol, will be bringing the latest entertainment news with the business. And today we have no other than C none other than CEO Jermaine Williams, owner of Red Bloom Wellness. Spa, wellness, wellness spa. I'm sorry. Join, uh, join me in the lab. Well, she'll be joining me in the lab. But first, let's get my three points of purpose out, guys. You know my three points of purpose is the nuggets I like to drop to just get you through, navigate you through the week. So I'm going to talk. I'm excited about this topic today because it's really personal to me, and I'm doing some self-evaluation. So I'm going to talk about just three points of purpose. But first, guys, three points of purpose is brought to you by Easy Pray Much. My trilogy, my novel that's coming out, guys, in the spring, please follow. You can follow me on social media at Arthur Keith Childs. Please check that out for more information. All right, but three points of purpose today. We're talking about something that's really personal to me, personal development. But what I want to speak about in three points of purpose is success. This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to have, this is a really, really, really great topic for me because through my whole life, entire life, and I know maybe a lot of people think or feel in the way I feel, we all feel we want to reach some, some sort of success in our life, I should hope, right? So we chase success, but I want to just, when, in my findings, I want to just point out one, a couple things. Success, and I like this, success is not a scratch-off lottery ticket. What do you mean by that, Keith? Success is not a scratch-off lottery ticket. And what I'm saying, guys, about that is successful people, let's think Oprah's of the world, the Jordans of the world, the LeBron's, the Mayweather's, the Bill Gates, the Steve Jobs. I mean, this goes on and on. People that we deem successful, people that we look at and say, wow, they're so successful. A lot of us seem to think that we're not, that they're cut from a different cloth or something. And that's not true. There's a... There's a recipe for success. You know, successful people are just like you and I. There's difference, though. Let me, I'm going to explain. This is why I'm going over my three points of purpose in the day segment to tell you, to point out. And this is something that I wish, I wish I would have, say I would have known this, what I know now, 15, 10, 5 years ago. But never too late, you know. But I want to share with you the insights of the road of success. You know, let me just say something that, uh, 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 I've read, it makes so much sense to me. 
you know, and let me say, it said, make sure I'm saying I want to quote this correctly. In order for things to change, you must change. In order for things to change, you must change. You see, the reason that is so incredible, the reason that's so incredible, guys, is because you got to, things going to stay the same around you, everything around, life going to go on, people going to be the same. And you probably stuck in a situation where you're saying, wow, I feel like I'm, I'm stuck, but things not changing. In order for things to change around you, you must change, you know. And so let me just, just get jump right into it. Here's, a, here's, a, here's something funny. I mean, funny, but something I want to just run past you. Think about this for a second. Think about this for a second. If someone gave you $86,400 at 12 midnight and said you had to spend it all up in 24 hours, and after the 24 hours, it's gone, I bet you a dime to a, uh, a, dime to a dollar, a dime to a thousand, if someone told you they give you $86,400, but the rule was you had to spend it all in a day, most of us would run out here and find, spend every penny of that. Because it's just like, wow, I got $86,400 to spend up in 24 hours, but the rule is you must spend it up. You can't take it with you. You can't keep it for next week to tomorrow. You got to spend it today. What will you do? What would you buy? You'll go buy some meaningful stuff. Some of us may not. I mean, but whatever we buy, it'll be something that we spent time on doing. The reason I'm talking about this, guys, is because think about that. You ever heard that slogan, time is money, right? Think about this. God give us 86,400 86, seconds a day. And how many of us waste them? If we had $86,400, I bet you we wouldn't waste it. We wouldn't say, oh, I'm going to spend it later. Procrastination. We wouldn't just throw it away. If we knew we just had that one shot to do it, to spend and buy what we wanted to buy with that $86,400, we would bust our tail running, spending that money. So the same with time, guys. Time is money. You get 86,400 seconds in a day, it's time is money. So what you have to do is take your time and understand, do not procrastinate. Let me jump into this. Let me jump into this. This is the four ingredients, guys, that I came up with my self-development and becoming successful. One, hard work, hard work. Every single person that you know that's successful, all successful people have this one main ingredient, hard work. There's no shortcuts to being successful. There's no footnotes, there's no, there, don't believe the hype, there's no such thing as overnight success. There's no such thing as overnight success. You can work your butt off, hard work, hard work, hard work. That's, that's one. Got to understand if you ever study people that's successful, you'll see the common thread is every last person that's successful is worked their butt off for. Now, you may say uh, some kids got passed down money, but that may be true. But the people that made that, made that money bust they, bust they ass to get it. And you got to follow the same suit. There's no shortcuts to success. Two, consistency. You got to be consistent in your approach. This is one thing that I had to learn so hard. Like I had to learn like being consistent. The reason a lot of us don't succeed because we don't, we're not consistent. We quit. We start something and we stop. Diets, uh, 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 a new job hunt, relationship. We start stuff and we quit on it. So you must work hard at whatever you want, guys. You got, but you got to be consistent. Okay. With consistent dedication. Dedication, woo! Being dedicated to you to something, being dedicated to your success, right? This, the dedication piece is so important because, like, all right, let me take me for working out, right? I decided about a week and a half ago, I'm working out. It's my lifestyle. I get up every day, well, four days a week at 4:30 a.m. in the morning. I work out 4:30. I get up at 4:30. I don't want to get up. If that long go off. I can find every reason to stay in bed, but I'm. I know it's gonna take hard work. I know goodness well that I gotta be dedicated to get to doing this and I gotta be consistent. So I stay consistent. Consistently I get up, I don't care, rain, sleep, whatever. I'm getting up and I'm going. And, I, and I'm taking that approach with every part of my life now. So those are the things, guys. And the last, the one of the four, the last I wanna say about on, on, these, on this being successful goes is setting small goals and accomplishing them. And what I mean by that, Success is not, again, it's not overnight. You must set small little goals. You got to set little steps. Take one, two, three, take three steps, 
and, and get him and finish him. All right? Now, I'm going to run through these. Three ingredients of failure. Procrastination is the killer of hope. Fear is the killer of dreams. And laziness is the killer of your soul. Let me say that again. Procrastination is the killer of hope. Fear is the killer of your dreams. And laziness is the killer of your soul, guys. So success is not about how much money one person has, but it's actually, guys, what you're doing with your purpose in life. You know, and I heard this, and, I, and it's almost time to wrap this up, guys, but I can go on and on with this because I love this so much. I'm passionate about it. I heard this. I've once heard uh, that, I uh, once heard people will forget what you did for them, but they'll never forget how you, how you made them feel. So my last question, guys, in closing up, ask yourself, are you living in your purpose and dream? And if not, why? Guys, we gotta work on ourselves. We must, must work on ourselves to get better. And that's my wrap for my two points, for my three points of purpose. Three points of purpose, guys, was brought to you by Easy Pray the Trilogy. Drop in the spring, guys. Please follow me on social media uh, and author, and author Keith Childs. And coming up is CEO of Red Bloom, guys. Jermaine Wynn will be in the build, be in a hot seat in the couple of seconds guys but right now it's time for the business by yours truly my girl Kara hey Keith it's Kara I'm about to give you the business if you notice that Cardi B appeared to be more covered up than usual at the iHeart Radio Music Awards and seemed to be slightly fuller up top, you're not going crazy. According to TMZ, Cardi B and her fiance Offset are expecting their first child together in July. Aww. Oh, should I say, ow? And sources say she still plans to perform at Coachella next month, even though she'll be seven months pregnant. Now, if you're like me, you were pumped up to find out that Jay-Z and Beyonce recently announced their OTR2 tour, which will kick off on June 6th. But I was a little bit salty when I used my exclusive Beehive code to try to buy my advance tickets on Wednesday, and I could only get one $450 ticket at a time. Hello? Of course I didn't do that. I will be buying my tickets on Monday just like everybody else. But the mother in me wanted to know, what are Jay and Bay going to do with the kids while they're on tour? You know they have three kids. And this tour is 15 cities across Europe and 21 in North America. That's a long time to be away from three babies. But of course, they got a 24-7 nanny tribe that'll travel with them to take care of six-year-old Blue Ivy and the nine-month-old twins, Sir and Rumi. Rich people problems. Now, have you seen Tamar Braxton's new do? As a naturalista myself, I completely celebrate and embrace when a sister finds her way back to her natural side. But Tamar, she didn't just do a big chop. She shaved her head completely bald. I mean, like newborn baby bald. And it's a complete departure from her normal wig collection. You know, all the wigs. Because she had wigs that she gave names to. But this is what Tamar said in response. I'm over feeling captive to a wig, weave, people, people's comments, and opinions. Hell, even my own feelings. We can choose to stop these things from having the power and victory over us and for me that starts today kudos to you tamar and finally snoop dogg has found a way to reinvent himself once again of course we know the iconic rapper snoop doggy dog from the 90s and then in 2013 he introduced us to his short-lived reggae persona when he renamed himself snoop lion and now he's introducing snoop dogg the gospel artist that's right snoop is releasing a 32 track I did say 32 track gospel album entitled Bible of Love. Now the album features phenomenal artists including Faith Evans, Ty Tribbett, Rance Allen, B. Slade, Kim Burrell, Charlie Wilson, and many more. But Snoop is not going to be the featured artist, but he will be dropping some verses on a few songs and he'll also provide the vocals for the closing track, Words Are Few. Bible of Love is Snoop's first release on his new gospel label, All the Time Entertainment. He also has a venture capital firm, Casa Verde, that focuses on investing in none else than the cannabis industry. And Coach Snoop is collaborating with Adidas on a new line of gold cleats. He also announced his wellness retreat tour with Migos, which kicks off in Denver, Colorado on no other date than 420. That's the business. I'm yours truly, Kara, in the lab with Arthur Keith Childs. More in the lab with Arthur Keith Childs, presented by the Porter Law Firm, Champions for Justice. Easy Prey, the trilogy a highly anticipated novel series by author Keith Childs will leave you longing for more. 
Easy Prey delves into the tragic events that transform the life of Mallory Bell. Beautiful and bright, a powerful, successful businesswoman with an MBA, Mallory appears to have it all. Born to loving, wealthy parents, she finds herself in a fight for survival after witnessing a childhood tragedy that turns her perfect world upside down. Mallory Bell is transformed to Mallory Kilpatrick when the tragic events that fuel her hunger for success spark her ravenous appetite for revenge. Defying the odds, this drop-dead gorgeous, irrefutably sexy, and equally savvy businesswoman re-emerges at the top of her game and on the hunt for easy prey. What's behind the mind of this beautiful black female serial killer? Be careful what you pray for. Easy Prey, the trilogy, by author Keith Childs, coming spring 2018. Follow us on social media at author Keith Childs. A Wash and Associates, a family owned and managed business with over 20 years expertise as a leading provider of electrical contracting in the Washington DC metropolitan area. We provide commercial, industrial and residential electrical installation, new construction, renovations and electrical upgrades with a focus on safety, cost efficiency and timeliness. From fire alarm systems to voice data installation to security system installation and monitoring, choose A Wash and Associates for experience professional electricians who give each project their personal attention. Call 202-388-4000 or visit us online at awashassociates.com. Join the growing list of distinguished guests and advertisers on In The Lab with author Keith Childs. Our team will customize a package that will increase your exposure and help your business grow. Call 240-667-6017. That's 240-667-6017. If you've experienced workplace discrimination or sexual harassment, call the Porter Law Firm, Champions for Justice, at 888-888. 2582448 or visit our website at theporterfirm.com. Call author Keith Childs in the lab at 301 429 9247. That's 301 429 9247. Get on our lines now. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. We're back in the lab with author Keith Childs, presented by the Porter Firm, by the Porter Firm Champions for Justice. With me in the lab is CEO, no other than CEO, Ms. Jermaine Williams. What's going on, Ms. Jermaine Williams? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, guys, let me tell you a little bit about Ms. Jermaine Williams here, guys. So, so you know, guys, she's the owner and CEO of, make sure I said it, Red Bloom Wellness Spa yes. in Bethesda, Maryland. Yes. She is highly respected. Oh, where? Well, let me, I, I ain't got her. I'm reading it, but I'm, I'm going to talk from the heart, guys. She's a highly respected makeup artist, and you, what? It's makeup and... Beauty, and I want to show beauty, you. beauty and wellness. So, okay. yeah, I'm, I guess what you would say, a beauty and wellness expert. Okay, beauty That's and wellness expert. <laughs> Guys, let me just tell you. Uh, clinical, she's been over 20 years in, in um, clinical skin care, right? Mm -hmm. She used holistic uh, the approach to help, what we're going to talk about that, yes. to promote healthy skin care. Jermaine has worked, Jermaine been, uh, work has been featured in Essence, Glamour, Allure magazine. She's been featured on the Tom John the Morning Show, NBC Today. Her clients include the late Whitney Houston, Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. Colin Powell, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Shepard, Terrence Howard, Ray Lewis, whew, Angela Basket, uh, Bassett, uh, Venus William, and Condoleezza Rice, yes. to, to name a few. Yes. Because I've seen some more stuff there, but let's go on and on and on. Yes, I've been okay. blessed. Hey, well, let me just say, guys, welcome, welcome. I'd like to give you a welcome, like I welcome all my guests thank here. Thank you, thank and you. And thank you for joining us. So, guys, today we're going to talk about, we're just going to go into the business. It's a couple of things. You know, this, this platform is built on fashion, business, and entertainment. Well, what I'm talking about today here, I mean, you know, you see, it's fashionable, right? But we're talking about the business yeah. part of it. And mm -hmm. I really like to bring business in so we can get the CEO background and understand. So you out there that's listening and seeing this can be inspired like I am. So without further ado, step out of the way, Jermaine, you want to introduce yourself to the people and let them know what you do? Yes. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for having me, Keith. Um, as Keith mentioned, my name is Jermaine Williams. I am the owner of the Red Bloom Wellness Spa located in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, we've been in business about nine years, and we basically focus on... Um, all things wellness from spirit mind and body we incorporate acupuncture facials massage nutrition 
um, Reiki, um, other energy modalities. We also do uh, massage. We have doulas on staff. So we are really just trying to make our little statement in the heart of Bethesda in terms of helping people just live a healthier, more vibrant life. That's wonderful. You said some couple words in there that you had to <laughs> bring back to me. Doulas? A doula. A doula. A doula. It's a okay. birth. It's a birth coach. Yeah. See how I'm learning here? It's a birth, uh, a birth coach. coach. So you all have a birth coach. Let's just go down the list. Let's just talk about some of the yes. stuff here. So first of all, if someone want to come and book mm -hmm. into your spa, mm -hmm. what, is it a long process or you kind of open No, it I mean, we've actually kind of made it easy. So mm -hmm. they can either give us a call um, or they can book online. And so um, obviously either way is, is convenient. We're open Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, the weekends do tend to get booked up pretty quickly because most people obviously have that availability. But, um, yeah, we make it pretty easy for people to get in. And whether you're looking for nutrition, whether you're looking for just a great facial or maybe massage, I mean, everybody's so stressed out. Like, yes, yes. like we need, you know, yes, I, I'm seeing people more and more that are very, very stressed and they're mm -hmm. having a lot of issues um, and their health related to stress. So we really try to implement strategies to help people deal with stress, to manage their stress, um, and even just to have kind of a respite or a takeaway from the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you just need a place that you can get away and just, you know, kind of take a deep breath and relax and release. And so that's really what we've tried to create there. Um, so even when people come in, they're always like, wow, like this is so peaceful. You don't wow. see a lot of people wow. there because we – really try to keep it very tranquil and very, you know, kind of, you know, just a little chilled out. Mm -hmm. You know, you need those little pockets in the city to do that. Wow. So, so that's, I mean, now you're talking what I need. You're saying a stress reliever. So yes. tell the people, like, if dealing with the health side of it, because mm -hmm. I'm you're doing a whole holistic piece. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people now, you know, are, in this day and time, a lot of people doing the vegan thing and yeah. really more self, more aware, even myself eating better, changing, how important is that? And how long have you been on that that vibe of the holistic piece and eat well? I mean, a, more, a, more a long time. I mean, I mm -hmm. actually went to school um, and for nutrition. And so at one point I was in nursing school and then I thought I wanted to go to medical school. Mm -hmm. So this is not something I've just kind of started doing like yesterday. Right. So really for about 20, 24, 25 years, I've always been kind of immersing myself in nutrition and wellness. I certainly fell into makeup artistry and loved it, but mm -hmm. even with that, I was always kind of putting a little bit of a wellness spin on mm -hmm. things, talking to my clients about, you know, skin care and wellness, because obviously when you're doing someone's makeup, mm -hmm. you're looking at their skin. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes, you know, what you think is the problem is usually not the problem. It's usually something internal. So. In terms of wellness, it's, it encompasses everything, Keith. It's just not, you know, what we are putting on our body, mm -hmm. but it's also putting what we're putting in our body. Unfortunately, we tend not to eat well, right. you know, um, because we're stressed. You know, we got kids, we've got, you know, demanding jobs, and a lot of times we just want to grab something quick. Mm -hmm. um, but what ends up happening when you do that day in and day out it starts to have an impact on your health, unfortunately. And so, you know, we're seeing a lot of people with obviously type two diabetes, mm -hmm. um, heart conditions, obviously cancer. And so um, just kind of talking to them a little bit more how to eat right, you know, kind of that conscious eating piece, mm -hmm. like you want living foods to feed a living body. Right, right. You know, right. and so that's what I enjoy doing the most. So in that piece, in that whole, because you said something that I've heard before speaking. Mm -hmm. Actually, I spoke to Kim Lee. Yes. You know, Kim Lee from yes. the show. And we're talking about, about her, a friend. lot of, you know, when you're doing makeup, mm -hmm. right, and a lot of people may not realize what you put in your body, so they determines on how stuff on your face, right? Of so your your product that you're using, are there special products there? What are the ingredients? Are there? Yeah, I mean, we try to, um, I'm always a big fan of you want to put things on your body that mm -hmm as close to it as possible that you could eat. Mm -hmm. And so, unfortunately, a lot of products have chemicals, and what we find, obviously, is we're already inundated with lots of toxicity, from the air we breathe, right, right. to the water we drink, and even the food that we eat. So when you talk about skincare, you really want products that are 
very clean, you know, very minimal ingredients, um, obviously as natural as possible. And so we really try to look for products that meet our philosophy. Um, so we're always, you know, reviewing products that have that kind of clean, green, you know, kind of skincare mm -hmm. appeal, mm -hmm. um, whether it's body treatments or skincare or even hair products. Matter of fact, we had a, a, a company come in last week and uh, presented us with edible shampoos. What? And so I tried it this weekend, and I tell you, it was, uh, now, of course, I wouldn't eat it, but it's so clean. <laughs> okay, I agree that, with that. You no, try to eat it or you try to? <laughs> no, but, okay. you know, it's, okay. it's so clean right. that you could actually eat it. It's just, Not like, right. four ingredients. Right. And um, Did they, it work well? You know what? It actually did. So we're, we're kind of reviewing, bringing it on, you know, into the spa. So these are the type of things that I like to introduce our clients to and get them thinking not only about organic foods, but also what you're putting on your body. The average yeah. woman honestly puts about 30 to 40 products on every single day. Wow. And if you think about those 30 to 40 products, those 30 to 40 products could have whole you know, a whole bunch of chemicals in it. Oh, right, guys, right there, we're about to run to a commercial. Yes. This is great. We're gonna come back after commercial. So what we're gonna do, guys, don't forget to click and share today's show like every show guys on author keith child on youtube we'll be right back with more jim with the ceo awesome jermaine Wells. yes Bye. perfect we'll be right back with more in the lab with author keith child presented by the porter law firm champions for justice easy prey the trilogy a highly anticipated novel series by author keith child coming spring 2018 Witness Mallory Bell's transformation to Mallory Kilpatrick, a beautiful and powerful businesswoman whose perfect world is turned upside down by tragedy. What fuels her hunger for success sparks her ravenous appetite for revenge and sends Mallory on a hunt for easy prey. Be careful what you pray for. Easy Prey, the trilogy by author Keith Childs. Coming spring 2018. Follow us on social media at author Keith Childs. If you've experienced discrimination in the workplace or sexual harassment, no more. Time's up. Now's the time to stand up for your rights and fight back. When you have the courage to stand up and fight back, you need legal representation you can trust. Someone who knows the law and has a proven track record for success. You need the Porter Law Firm. Champions for Justice. Call us at 888-258-2448. That's 888-258-2448. We've recovered millions on behalf of our clients, and we won't collect a dime until we recover for you. We also specialize in personal injury and wrongful death. You don't have to be a victim anymore. Let us claim the victory for you. Call the Porter Law Firm, Champions for Justice, at 888-258-2448. That's 888-258-2448. Or visit our website at theporterfirm.com. Wash and Associates, over 20 years as a leading provider of electrical contracting in the Washington, D.C. area. Call 202-388-4000 or visit us online at awashassociates.com. Join the growing list of distinguished guests and advertisers on In the Lab with author Keith Childs. Our team will customize a package that will increase your exposure and help your business grow. Call 240-667-6017. That's 240-667-6017. In the Lab presented by the Porter Firm, Champions for Justice, brought to you by my novel, Easy prey, guys. You hear me keep talking about it? Please make sure you get wet, get a morning in May coming up in spring 2018. Easy prey by author Keith Childs. On our social, that's all my social media. Check me out, author Keith Childs. All right, guys. We are absolutely back. Yes. But, Jane, we're going to finish this great conversation. We were talking offline about this. You know, she made a joke, guys, which is funny uh, to me. Uh, but I'm talking about shampoo. <laughs> you know, I ain't really worried about it. I'm saying, I ain't got no hair up here. You don't need shampoo. shampoo. But um, so continue because I really want. I'm really into this whole concept of just holistic because yeah. you know eating better, eating well, and now even with stuff you apply on your skin yeah. is important as well. Yeah, right? I mean, um, like I was saying earlier, Keith. I mean, what we're seeing is toxic load. Mm -hmm. I mean, and our food is sprayed. 
It's got parasites and pesticides and chemicals. Um, obviously, the air that we are breathing is sprayed with things. And so what I try to emphasize to my clients is reduce as much as you can mm -hmm. the toxicity. So eat clean. Okay. Yes, eat yeah. organic. I mean, and obviously, you know, um, if you can do, you know, farm to table better, if you can do um, farmer's markets, that's great. Mm -hmm. Because um, that way you can talk to farmers and really get an understanding of how they grow their food. And better yet, grow your own food. Like, that's, that's probably... Well, let, me, <laughs> let me bring it down to the, the real, right? Like, the, the different sound. But you're saying... Great. Now, what about for those who may challenge that? You know, we still have that, people, yeah. right? Excuse me. Who may say, hey, I don't have time or it's too expensive or, yeah. you know. Because honestly, now that I'm trying to eat better, mm -hmm. it is like, it's so many... Places you can go to get bad food, oh, like yeah. every corner, and cheap, like, and cheap food, and cheap food, bad food. Be, so bad, isn't that? It should be the other way around. It should be the other bad way around. Bad food should cost more, but bad food is cheap, and, mm -hmm. and food is better for you. Cost mm -hmm. costs more. So is that the same with your makeup? I mean, with your products, where you can go and buy the stuff with all the stuff in it. Of course, mm -hmm. it's cheaper, but it's better for you to do the holistic. Well, you know what? I think there's so many products on the market, and I think mm -hmm. most consumers now are really inundated with products. They don't really kind of know what to choose. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I always say if it the if you look at the ingredient list and it's very long, let's say the, the main ingredient is um, shea butter. We'll just say shea butter. Mm -hmm. If shea butter is 15th, on that those list of ingredients mm -hmm. the percentage of shea butter is probably very low true, you know true, so true. i would say you want to look for products that have very minimal ingredients as natural as possible things mm -hmm. that you can pronounce things <laughs> that you know what they are That's are good. always okay. great um you know and again when you think about what you're putting on your body do you really need a lot of things like mm -hmm. if we're talking about perfumes most perfumes are chemically based so essential oils may be a better mm -hmm. option um, obviously, you know, deodorants. Deodorants are loaded with lots of chemicals. So you can make your own deodorant with like uh, bacon soda and, and essential oils. Hold on, you said you can make your own deodorant? Yeah, you can make really? your own deodorant. I'm gonna tell you, I haven't, this is like, like a little secret. I haven't worn deodorant in probably four years. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I don't wear deodorant. And I don't, that, that, is, that sounds gross, but I don't, I, I don't have that, I don't ever have Problem you don't have body odor? Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, I'm that. I don't. I, don't, <laughs> I, I said it. I, I, don't, I don't. But I haven't worn deodorant, my God, in maybe, I don't know, 10 years, maybe 18 so years. So that oh. might speak to perhaps that you're eating cleaner, okay. that maybe that your body is, you know, body odor is obviously a function of just our metabolic processes, but mm. how bad is that odor? I mean, that's, right. that's usually a telltale sign that maybe you need to detox, maybe you need to drink more water, maybe you need to go to the bathroom, so those So people can things. fit, because when I'm in the gym in the morning, right, <laughs> early, and I know people working out, and I know right. a lot of people work out in the gym, and yeah. certain people just reek a little stronger, yeah. so you think is that comes internally, that's something they can, oh. eat, they can change that? Oh, of course, of course. So guys, you hear that? If you're one of the ones that have strong body odor when you're working out right. or when you're just walking, detox. You can ch detox. You can change that. I didn't know that. I thought yeah. it was just how they was. No, they I were. mean, um, you know, there's like a saying, if the feet stink, think zinc. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and what... If, and if the feet stink, think, think zinc. zinc. Why, do, why, why explain that? Um, well, it's just a saying, zinc is a... Um, a vitamin and a mineral that we actually need. Men need it a lot, you know, for healthy prostate and, oh, what? and oh yeah, and uh, and sperm development. So you dropping nuggets <laughs> up in here today. I do Doctor Williams dropping nuggets up well, in we, here. We're just being candid uh, right, here, right, but right. yeah, but people can detox and wow. obviously um, change mm -hmm. the whole ecology of their body. You know, okay. so okay. obviously if you're eating clean food. Mm -hmm. If you're eating, you know, a lot of plants, a lot of fruit, drinking a lot of water, your body is going to function a little better, most yeah. definitely. Yeah, so. and, I, and, I, and true to that, guys, because ever since I've been on this new change, I know it's new, but mm -hmm. I've been working out, eating, I haven't been doing nothing but drinking water, mm -hmm. and it, I do feel much better. Like oh, I drink course. nothing but water, yeah. all water. So that that is true to that. But wow, let's get back to this zinc piece, because that's some nuggets you're teaching me here. So. I said incorporate that into my like my vitamins. This yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing. Um, 
our soil is depleted and that's mm -hmm. actually where we get a lot of our nutrients the plants uptake the nutrients we eat the plants hence we get the nutrients mm -hmm. but unfortunately um, the soil because of commercial farming they're not replenishing the value of mm -hmm. the soil so therefore we're getting food that is really nutritionally deficient in some respects um, organic is a little better um, obviously if you grow your own food that's even better and you can actually cultivate the soil but the idea is to support the body obviously with food first you mm -hmm. know quality food but sometimes you're going to need some nutritional support things like vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. electrolytes and so um, when we work with clients we really kind of ascertain what where they are nutritionally mm -hmm. you know what their lifestyle is obviously people are coming in with sometimes um, diagnosis from doctors whether it's cancer or diabetes um, but at the end of the day, the body still needs to be fed nutritionally. Mm -hmm. um, whatever state you are, whether you have been, you know, diagnosed with something or you're just really just trying to eat healthier. Um, sometimes you just really need some nutritional support. But I always say, let's, let's look at the food first. Let's make sure that you're getting what you need from the food. Right. Um, and what you may be missing, then obviously we can introduce, you know, something like a multivitamin or a mineral or electrolyte. Um, to help support the body. So when your clients come to you, you're absolutely, would you just explain, give them the whole holistic approach. So you, you mm -hmm. work with them, it's not like a one-time thing. They can actually come over and over so mm -hmm. you can see a difference. If they yes. coming in and they take your advice and change their diet yeah. and all that, you can really see a difference in, in their skin and everything else. Almost definitely. I mean, first uh, of all, I always tell people it's a lifestyle shift, mm -hmm. you know, being healthy is not just kind of a one, right. once, you know, in and out, you know, type thing. I would say, how do you want to be at 60? How healthy do you want to be? How vibrant do you want to be mm -hmm. at 80, you know, or even just right now, you know, right. whatever age you are. So we spend a lot of time, you know, our dental consult sometimes is two hours, you know, because we really are getting a lot of information. We're talking about where people are emotionally because mm -hmm. we know emotions can impact the Those body. The mm -hmm. whole stress piece, as we were talking about earlier. And so um, then we look at their, their food. Like, wh what are you eating? You know, are you a stress eater? Right. Are you yeah. eating on the run? Are you eating late at night? Right. Um, are you drinking a lot of coffee? You know, so all of these things will impact their health. And then what we do is we try to develop a program for them. Mm -hmm. You know, we look at, obviously, economics, because mm -hmm. that's real. Mm -hmm. I mean, people mm -hmm. are always saying, oh, Jermaine, it's, you know, too expensive to eat healthy. And, you know, not really when you really know, you know, uh, when you're presented with information, you can actually make better choices. Right. And that doesn't always mean that you have to shop at Whole Foods, right. you know. Um, so we take all that into inf information into account and then we create a program for our clients, you know, okay. so that they can follow it. And I do suggest, you know, that you change your lifestyle, that this is something that you want to implement for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Um, and not just to lose weight or, you know, for a big event. So most people that comes to come to Red Bloom, mm -hmm. to, to your establishment, and I know it's probably too broad of a question, but I'm going to ask anyway, do you kind of see what they, is it more like for skin? Is it more for holistic? Is it more? Uh, well, I'll tell you, for a long time, people used to come to see me because, I could really help with more challenged skin concerns, okay, okay. and that's kind of what I was known for, and I okay. still am. But well, that's good to know. It's it's good to know, yeah. um, and we've had people with you know, whether it's eczema, psoriasis, uh, you know, very severe acne. We mm -hmm, were able mm -hmm. to really improve you know the skin, but now we're getting people. Obviously, we have doulas. We're getting moms that or women that want to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. and you know are having some fertility issues so we have you know detox treatments we have massage treatments we have acupuncture um, and then obviously once they get pregnant we're able to help them through their pregnancy along with their physicians or if they you know have a, a midwife mm -hmm. the doula myself and the, the our collective therapists are able to help them um, I'm seeing grandmas, you know, I'm mm -hmm. seeing grand, you know, grandchildren. I mean, my clients are bringing in their parents, you know, wow. so wow. because everyone wants to be healthy and it, you may not want to come for skin care, but mm -hmm. you might need a great massage or mm -hmm. you might, uh, you know, need acupuncture for maybe a sports injury or a car accident. So let me ask you a question because I'm loving it. The acupuncture, I've, mm -hmm. never, I've heard about it. 
So it really works. Oh. And what? Explain yeah. that to me. I'm looking at you. I mean, y'all don't see it, guys. I'm looking on her, her website, beautiful uh, website. Thank Please you. check it out. Check it out at redbloom.com, right? Yes, the okay. redbloom.com. The redbloom.com. Mm -hmm. But the acupuncture piece. So is that for pain or is that? Because I heard you mention also talking about pregnancy. Yeah. I mean, it helps with all of that. So acupuncture obviously is is thousands and thousands of years. It mm -hmm. actually, you know, precedes our modern our modern medicine, mm -hmm. um, and so. We, you know, they were doing acupuncture in ancient Egypt. It's not just, you know, uh, most people think it's it's an Asian or or um, from, you know, China. But you know, the Europeans, they got all this like secondhand. Um, so we've done acupuncture to help with a lot of different things. Uh, fertility mm -hmm. is one. Um, pain. So acupuncture works on little needles. And so, <laughs> okay, you said the word, you said the N word, needles. Oh, so, you're, you're no, 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 but some okay. people, I'm not, but some people are afraid. I know people that won't go anywhere near needles. Well, here's the thing with acupuncture needles. Is it painful, Jermaine? You know, actually, it's not. So, okay. the needle is really the width of a hair, and, they're, oh, and it's okay. flexible. Mm -hmm. So, there are different sizes depending on what the acupuncturist wants to address. <clears throat> so, let's say you're having frozen shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, most times you would think that they would put the needles in the shoulder, but because there's something called the meridian system, mm -hmm. which, um, wow, so how can I explain that? And the meridian system actually really travels all over the body and it, it innervates the body. It, it actually um, is kind of like the nervous system, mm -hmm. but not really the nervous system. So the acupuncturist works on the meridian system to affect whatever your issue is. So let's wow. say, if you have the frozen shoulder, she might actually put needles in an acupressure point in the hand because mm. it coincides or will also affect the shoulder. Or she might put needles it really in. Works. It really works. And you know, in places like China, they actually do surgery mm -hmm. without anesthesia with just acupuncture. So it can have that dramatic effect wow. on the pain centers of the body. So it's really amazing. And Nancy, our acupuncturist, is, is she's brilliant. Now, so. I've read, and I've tried it once when I went and got a, um, uh, what is it, the colonic, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. With the feet piece, right? They say how important, like, the, the feet is. Mm -hmm. And so many areas under the feet. Now, you can speak because you're you way more versed than I am in that. But is it true about, like, a lot of stuff that ill you can be cured by the foot? Like with the acupuncture or surgery yeah. or no? I mean, how would you feel about that? Well, I tell you what's so amazing about the body and how mm -hmm. God created it. It's all rep it's all about repetition. Mm -hmm. Your eyes will say the same thing your tongue will tell me. Your your feet, which most people will um, be familiar with reflexology. So mm -hmm. the feet and the hands can illustrate what's happening in the body. Mm -hmm. The ears can also tell us information. And so obviously when we touch the body, you know, all of those things should be kind of a cohesive message. Um, unfortunately, sometimes traditional medicine just looks at kind of one perspective mm -hmm. where your holistic practitioners, we look at everything. Mm -hmm. So we look at that whole mind body piece, mm -hmm. um, but we're looking at everything when we do an assessment. So it's just not, you know, you coming in with, let's say, issues with the body, but right. we're looking at everything that can give us a little bit more understanding. Okay. Um, and so that's why we'll ask you things like, you know, how are you sleeping? Let me look at your tongue. Let me look mm -hmm. at your eyes. You know, let me look at the nails. Mm -hmm. The nails can also give us an indication of your overall health. Mm -hmm. You know, the teeth. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there's also a correlation between the teeth and the overall health. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, more holistic dentists will give you that information as well. But so it's like a complete snapshot of who you are. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's so deep because, you know, if you've been taught something one way all your life mm -hmm. and then you get, so like you said, you've been in doing this, what, 20 years? Or in a yeah, well, I've been in uh, wellness and nutrition for about 20 years, okay. obviously kind of with makeup as well. Um, and then we've been open nine years where we've been able to bring all of these modalities together. Wow, yeah. amazing. And one thing she said, guys, that for, for you out there who may be trying to get with chow, um, Red Bloom can help with that as well. That's that's yeah. very, very important. Yes. You know, now, um, a, a lot of this, a lot of your, I don't want to say like your, your services, they're not just for women, right? 
You got some oh, for the guys. No. Okay. okay. You know you what? I actually have a lot of male clients, and what's okay. interesting is, you know, they'll come in. Sometimes their wife will bring them, or their significant other will bring them, or their mom will bring them, and then, you know, it's kind of foreign to maybe have maybe another woman touch their face, mm-hmm. but we try to really make them comfortable, and I give them a lot of information about what we're going to do, mm-hmm. and now they don't even come with them they're like okay when is my next appointment oh, wow. <laughs> you know wow. and okay. i love guys because you know right. guys are really easy you guys you know you give you a, a right. formula give you a program and you run with it so now, i'm glad you said it because that's my next question how long are the programs like is, is there a certain time limit or you de- depend everybody's different like a fingerprint everybody's well different. i always say the body heals like an onion mm-hmm. Okay, so you may come in and we may address the first thing, but then there's underlying layers, layers, you know, and if you are 50, obviously you're coming in with 50 years of stuff, Mm -hmm. you know, and so sometimes that's not always addressed with one treatment, Mm -hmm. but what I try to do is really give um, clients a lot of information so Mm -hmm. that they can make their choices. So whether that's information as they work with doctors, that they can ask different questions Mm -hmm. to their doctors Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, other practitioners, you know, so I think the more information you have, the more empowered you are to take your health back into your own hands. Wow, that is cool. Hey, hey, we can really um, really, really go to break in a second, guys, but I want y'all to stay tuned because this is so informative. I mean, you came in here and knocked it out the park. I mean, I'm sitting here like a like I'm in school, like a, a, a kid in, in class. But no, but it's really, really good that and it is is refreshing to have mm-hmm. someone on who understands the body like this and mental. Because when you think in one way mm-hmm. of how medicine work, or then you hear from someone like yourself who's so knowledgeable in the holistic with the holistic uh, uh, a mindset in, in the business of the spa and helping the body and pregnancy and eating right and better skin when we come back after break i'm gonna speak to jermaine guys more about this oily skin of mine and how well how the best way to treat it because i know a lot of you all may be dealing with the whole oily skin concept as well so guys make sure that we just you stay tuned um and we'll be right back in a couple of seconds we'll be back after the Break. So stay tuned, guys, for more conclusion and in the lab with Jermaine Williams, CEO, Jermaine Williams Detox. of the Red Bloom <laughs> in the Wellness Spa. We'll be right back, guys, after this. Okay. Coming up, more in the lab with author Keith Childs, presented by the Porter Law Firm, Champions for Justice. Easy Pray the Trilogy, a highly anticipated novel series by author Keith Childs, will leave you longing for more. Easy Pray delves into the tragic events that transform the life of Mallory Bell, beautiful and bright, a powerful, successful businesswoman with an MBA. Mallory appears to have it all. Born to loving, wealthy parents, she finds herself in a fight for survival after witnessing a childhood tragedy that turns her perfect world upside down. Mallory Bell is transformed to Mallory Kilpatrick, when the tragic events that fuel her hunger for success spark her ravenous appetite for revenge. Defying the odds, this drop-dead gorgeous, irrefutably sexy and equally savvy businesswoman reemerges at the top of her game and on the hunt for easy prey. What's behind the mind of this beautiful black female serial killer? Be careful what you pray for. Easy Pray the Trilogy by author Keith Childs, coming spring 2018. Follow us on social media at author Keith Childs. Choose A Wash and Associates for experienced professional electricians. Call 202 388 4000 or visit us online at awashassociates.com. If you've experienced personal injury or wrongful death, call the Porter Law Firm Champions for Justice at 888 258 2448 or online at theporterfirm.com. Join the growing list of distinguished guests and advertisers on In the Lab with author Keith Childs. Our team will customize a package that will increase your exposure and help your business grow. Call 240-667-6017. That's 240-667-6017. All right. Good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, we're back. <laughs> no, oh, we're back, guys, in the lab. With we're back in the lab 
with my girl Jermaine, CEO Jermaine Williams, guys, owner of the Red Bloom Wellness Spa. And don't forget, guys, check, watch and share this, guys, on YouTube. Please support it. Brought to you by Easy Pray, guys, with Arthur Keith Childs. We're back with Jermaine, and we are almost time flying. It's almost yeah. our time. Time is up here. I didn't even know we were back on. Sorry about that. But That's um, okay. so what we're talking about what I want to talk about now was it with me. I've always noticed, mm -hmm. and you know, I can get right out the shower, go outside, and my face is immediately oily, and I don't put nothing on. I have like the oiliest face. How how do I fix that? What do I need to do? Give me some tips. Uh, well, the first thing I would say, let's mm -hmm. talk about what you're cleansing your skin with. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. if you're okay. using products that are too stripping mm -hmm. on your skin, mm -hmm. that can actually strip what we call the acid mantle or the protective barrier on the skin. Okay. So we don't have water glands. We only have sweat glands mm -hmm. and oil glands. So um, oil is our body's natural moisturizer. So what ends up happening is the, the body perceives that there's imbalance and what does it do? It kicks up the oil production. Sometimes diet is also relevant with that as well. So, um, but I would say, let's review what your products are. Most guys tend to wash their face with the shower gel and mm -hmm. you know stuff like that. So the you, soap and the soap. Is the soap bad for your face? You know what? Soap is not so much bad for your face. It's what type of soap it is. If it's uh, you know obviously a commercial soap, something like you know Dial or you know Irish Springs, mm -hmm. yes. But there are some really natural soaps that have like goat's milk or a shea butter base um, that are actually much. Okay. What about ivory soap? No. 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 Oh, okay. That's like I. <laughs> no. I wouldn't even wash my dishes with ivory <laughs> soap. I'm like what in the world? No. Oh, what about Dove? No. Because everybody say Dove That's, is so no, clean it's, and it's marketing. If you really look at Dove, okay. honestly, it has lots of chemicals in it. So you know, when you think wow. about soap, if you like a soap and water feel, there are lots of companies that actually mm -hmm. do that, like a foaming cleanser that's more pH balance for the skin, so mm -hmm. it's not stripping or compromising the skin in any way. Okay, because I've heard that so many times, like, you know, people say, oh, I can't use all these perfumes, so I gotta use Dove. So you're saying the Dove soaps still have those ingredients that I mean, that if they... you smell Dove, it mm -hmm. smells like it's something in Dove. You know, they have some that's, you know, sensitive, but again, Dove is a commercial product, okay. and so you can look at the ingredients. Okay. And so the ingredients are, more than three ingredients you know so right. and that's the key here we're saying more than if it have if it has a lot of ingredients then you know it tends to have a lot more chemicals okay well i'm gonna boomerang this right back around to red bloom <laughs> if someone's saying hey okay jermaine what would you suggest do you have something in your product look at your product line mm -hmm. here what is good for someone that want to come if i want to come and say i want to buy me which i'm going to do so all these for take it as all these skin what would you suggest i come and purchase from well, the first thing we want to do is look at your skin and really see what's going on with it mm -hmm. and really kind of give you a thorough analysis. And then what we do is we make recommendations for products based on what we see. Okay. You know, so a lot of times people come and say, I have oily skin. Well, that can be from a number of different things. You know, certain medications call this, cause the skin to be oily. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, sometimes clients will say, I have acne. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have to use acne-based products. Right. You know, so we kind of really look at the skin, get a, you know, a, a thorough assessment, and then we make recommendations based okay. on what we see. And then sometimes it's price point. I mean, you mm -hmm. may need three things, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that I'm trying to sell you th three right. things. You need three things. To work so, on, to work on, to, to, right, to make, to an, have, work. Okay, yeah, to make an impact on the so skin. Now, it's the, some of the same products, say like in my, in my household, right? Mm -hmm. I have two young daughters. You know, teenage, preteens. Mm -hmm. So you know, they all going through. They coming right. through the acne thing. Could stuff I use, they use. Or everybody got to get their own. You know what? I I really recommend that you know if you're going, let's say that your daughters are developing mm -hmm. acne, let's really look at their skin, get them their own products because okay. inevitably what's going to happen is someone's going to use more of one thing than mm -hmm. the next, or then when you're ready to use it, you can't find it. Right. So um so. Your skin is different, obviously. You and I'm about to ask, just you, the, from the difference of our skin, so I didn't mean to cut you off, I'm sorry. No problem. But just from, this is very interesting to me, from the fingerprints, so mm -hmm. to speak, of our skin, our makeup, maybe stuff that I need is a little stronger than my kids and vice versa. So if you, you well, have our you own. you know what, not necessarily. I mean, obviously, okay. if your daughters are young, mm -hmm. they're just, a lot of this is kind of hormonal. Okay. Um, a lot okay. of it is diet. I literally saw a girl today, 13, 
beautiful skin. You know, um, unfortunately, she was consuming a lot of dairy. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what do we have? We mm -hmm. have a breakout. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that she do an acne-based product because it's not really so much, um, you know, it, it's really what she's eating wow. as opposed to putting something very harsh in her skin. Mm -hmm. And what will happen, typically people think, oh, I have acne or I really have problematic skin. Let me use really strong products or ingredients. Right. And then you could set your up for a whole nother problem so it's really a good idea to really so, have somebody professionally look at your skin and really give you a better idea of really kind of the root mm -hmm. cause of maybe why you're breaking out um, even eczema or mm -hmm. psoriasis sometimes can be really um, remedied by just reviewing things in your lifestyle and sometimes even using cleaner products so a lot of products that people use for like eczema and psoriasis are very harsh on the skin so if someone Break out with acne. Mm -hmm. Don't they shouldn't just run to uh, proactive and that type of without going to a dermatologist and someone like yourself to say, hey, this is why. Because you just said something that again has been so amazing. Um, the dairy. You determine that the dairy caused the acne from the person. By well, your, here's your the assessment? thing. I I really try to get my clients off dairy, mm -hmm. um, and for a number of reasons. I mean, mm -hmm. um, if dairy. you had a cow in your backyard and you were mm -hmm. drinking the milk, different conversation. Mm -hmm. But the way that the <laughs> you know it's you know homogenized and pasteurized and full of chemicals and you know things like that. So, and it creates a, a different shift in the body. So I do try to recommend that people reduce the, the dairy substantially or in some respects come off of it. It's very mucus forming to the mm -hmm. body. Okay, um, right. You know, it's, uh, you know, uh, it creates a very acidic environment in the mm -hmm. body. So I've just, I've personally seen miracles happen with people just taking dairy out of the diet, acne wow. disappearing, wow. like disappearing. You're so if you do a lot of milk, you might want to rethink right. that. I was a big milk drinker. Um, I mean, as a child, of course, mm -hmm. but you know, I don't drink it as much now. So, but my daughters, my daughters, you know, they do they, they cereal, mm -hmm. so then you know, but, but try that, to get them on like almond milk or you know, there are lots of plant based milks mm -hmm. that are really you know a much better option. So, the almond based milk is a good substitute, for an almond milk, milk, milk. Okay. um, you know, hemp milk, oat milk. Um, obviously, if you're a little bit more ambitious, mm -hmm. make your own from almonds it's, it's the same thing you know just soak almonds put some wanna, spring water I, and blend it i bet your house has got so much blue jars and made up stuff all around jermaine everything said make your own make your own are you do you I do, do that at all you do i do my you daughter is here unfortunately she will tell you you just make a whole bunch of little jars to make up stuff <laughs> farmer huh that's well, cool though that's yeah. so but it's better for so at least you know exactly do you grow your own food you know what i have three gardens um, I do. I now, it. last year, I, I was really busy, and so mm -hmm. nature just took its course, but right. I do have three gardens. What are you growing? Uh, let's see. Last year, I grew collard greens. I grew um, broccoli. I grew squash. Mm. Um, I grew a lot of herbs. I had watermelon. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll grow this year. I actually need to start prepping my garden. So, be honest. Mm -hmm. Is it really a big change, a different in taste? Oh, of course. Yeah, like you, you can really taste the difference. Have you ever community. lived in the country? You no. Know? Oh, okay. Well, no. all of you on on social I'm media. A city guy. Okay, you know, yeah. country food is, you know, it, it's getting it from the garden or farmers market. Really big difference. It's fresh. It's, fresh um, it just tastes different well, when you grow your own food. I don't. Maybe this is the same. You, could, but I bought food that I thought t tastes the same or different from like the Amish market. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of the same one? No. Well, you know, not all Amish mm -hmm. grow things organic, but okay. here's the thing. You want to, most food that we eat, we mm -hmm. have no clue where it comes from. Yeah. We don't know. I don't. We don't know. Right. And, I mean, just really quickly, I did a, um, well, we got one minute, so one minute. But I did an experiment with an organic apple. Mm -hmm. Organic apple, not, you know, not everything that says it's organic is really, you know, organic. Mm -hmm. um, I cut it at 8 o'clock. I came home at 9 o'clock that night. It looked like I had just cut it. Because it, it lasts long without the... It, well, no, it was, it was, they must have sprayed something on that organic apple. So I stopped buying that apple from oh, the store okay. and actually started getting it from a farmer's market. All right. Hey, guys, <laughs> we can go on and on. It's time to wrap it up. But let me just tell you, guys, 
Thanks again, Jermaine. Thank you of so course. much for coming, Jermaine my Williams pleasure. out from Red Bloom. Please, guys, visit her. Please give me your website real quick. Yes, so you can visit us at theredbloom.com, and you can also give us a call at 301-907-9001. Again, guys, thank you all guys for, for joining us. This was presented by mm -hmm. the Porter, the Porter Firm, of champion, the Champions for Justice. Please, guys, next week I'll have author Cassandra Hill in the building in the lab plus my three points of purpose and don't forget you can watch and share this guys on the YouTube channel uh, author Keith Childs thank you so much that's a wrap hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we get our picture.